All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, little early morning video there. CM Punk. He put on the wrestling match, a dog collar match there. That Slammiversary or whatever bullshit show TNA 2.0 put out there. And he came out with his team song of Ring of Honor there. And this white Samoa Joe shorts there, it's very special, you know what I mean. Nobody knew what the fuck he was doing, <laughs> apart from five people there, but it's special. You know what I mean? And when I saw this, it's like, come on, like I talked about this in the review or whatever. Do we have to bow down to his in the wrestling shorts now there is this where wrestling is going or whatever you know what i mean we're not good enough because we don't know about this and of course that's exactly what happens on twitter you know what i mean indie fans getting on their high horse you don't know about this entrance song this obscure Entrance music there from 17 years ago in the Fed that wasn't accessible to anybody outside of New York. You don't know about this, then you're not a real fan. For shame! You don't know about his Ring of Honor shorts the way I do. Shame. You know, get a fucking life straight up. You had people doing this. You had other fans. Please, let's not chase away all the other wrestling fans. We need to inform them about his shorts. Let's remind the people of the underwear he wore in Pro Wrestling Gorilla or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? So basically, you know, some of them, they were moved to tears by his entrance, uh, you know. And somebody who was moved to tears the most, sadly, was CM Punk himself. Some guy on Twitter, a big AEW fan, he works for Meltzer, apparently, the guy. Works for The Observer. His name is Fontaine there. I don't remember the first name. Something Fontaine. He works for The Observer. He didn't get the entrance like 95% of wrestling fans there. He didn't understand what it was. He didn't bash punk. Didn't insult the entrance. Didn't tag punk. Right, he didn't tag his name, didn't ask him anything directly, fuck all. He said, the CM Punk entrance, what am I missing? You know what I mean? What am I missing? CM Punk goes out of his way there. This fan didn't tweet him, right? And he's not even insulting him, he's just asking... <laughs> You know, what? what is this entrance about? What is this supposed to be? Because he legit didn't get it. He's not insulting him, okay? But CM Punk took great offense that somebody out there didn't know about his shorts there. You know what I mean? People didn't know about his fucking shorts that he wears 17 years ago in the company that nobody watched because... Somebody dared to ask what this was about. CM Punk went out of his way to reply to this guy. A guy that's innocent, who didn't do anything wrong. He's a fan of Punk, a fan of AEW, kissing their ass even in his reply to Punk. All he did was ask, what the fuck is this? Punk reply, and he says, what am I missing, the guy? Punk responds, what is he missing? He writes, a deep understanding of storytelling and a brain, for fuck's sake. Really, there. You know, the guy doesn't have a brain. 
because he doesn't know about his fucking shitty obscure music or whatever that he fucking played at a house show that nobody saw there. Because the guy doesn't know this, he doesn't know about his goofy fucking looking shorts there. Apparently, he don't have a brain. Ridiculous. You expect this behavior from indie fans because they're fucking psycho. They think they're special because they watch shitty wrestling. You know what I mean. But you don't expect this from a wrestler there. You don't know about my shorts from ages ago there. You don't have a brain, bud. Fuck you. You know what I mean. Get over yourself, you fucking washed up goof. What a fucking goof. This guy's a fucking jerk. He's so unlikable. So unlikable. Such a fucking goof. Seriously. So full of himself there. Because somebody doesn't know an obscure thing about him in Ring of Honor that nobody fucking knows, apart from a few retard, <laughs> you know what I mean, pathetic fucking freaks online there. Apart from them, nobody knows this. They're a minority, for fuck's sake, of the wrestling fan base. Because a few of them know there. Don't mean everybody else is gonna fucking know. Don't mean the guy is stupid for not knowing this retarded indie bullshit. You know what I mean? You don't have a deep understanding of storytelling. Me, I watched this feud from the beginning. The first promo, very good. What did I do? I, I reviewed the show. And I praised the fucking shit out of the promo because I thought the promo was good. I'm not biased. I think it's good. I say it's good. Okay. But then it wasn't good. <laughs> the feud, but that's not the point. Nowhere in this story there. Okay. Did I fucking see... How is Ring of Honor shorts come into play there? You know what I mean? You know, nowhere in this story does the shorts or a team song from 20 years ago, nowhere does this bullshit add anything to the story. So how does the guy don't understand storytelling because he doesn't know this goofy ROH entrance? This is pathetic and sad you know what i mean these goofs online you don't know about wrestling history when people talk about wrestling history they talk about you know rick flair dusty Rhodes, harley ray seven time world champ lutez or whatever bruno you know, Adam Cole in Ring of Honor, that's not wrestling history. That's indie wrestling history. You know what I mean? Like, get the fuck out of here. Nobody gives a fuck about his entrance. Nobody gives a fuck if you knew this team song or you appreciate his shorts. You cried when you saw him. Wearing a bikini from Ring of Honor. Nobody gives a fuck. Y'all are pathetic. The fans are fucking pathetic. CM Punk is super goofy and full of himself to a level that's just intolerable. And Tony Khan sitting there with a big smile. I'm, a, I'm like, Jesus Christ, I brought back this retard there who thinks he's special because he's wearing indie wrestling shorts. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then he was saying WWE fans are weird or whatever. There's a clip of him. Oh, there's two types of fans. There's wrestling fans. And then there's W. These weird WWE fans, those are the people who made you famous, right? People were so sick of Cena there. He comes out, oh, fuck the product. Here's a t-shirt of Steve Austin. We thought the Attitude Era was coming back. 
we were so desperate. And then we started going for this guy or whatever out of desperation. But the fact is, this guy is a fucking goof who's incredibly full of himself. But to, for him to call WWE fans weird, the ones who made him their his fucking money, the ones who cheered for him for years after he fucking left, you know, I find that very disrespectful on his part. You know what I mean? A real fucking goof. Oh, WWE fans, they only watch WWE. So what if they were to do that? You know, me, I watch AEW. I watch Impact once in a while. I don't feel special about this. In what universe is somebody great? or better than another because they watch amateur low-budget wrestling that's completely irrelevant and trash. Seriously, like, maybe you enjoy yourself watching, uh, you know, Invisible Man versus, you know, a jobber or something. Maybe you're having fun, but that don't make you special. Somebody isn't bad if they only watch WWE. <laughs> you know what I mean, like, give it up. If somebody watches the NFL there, it's not, a, oh, you don't watch XFL, you're not a real football fan. This is retarded. Indie fans, their shows don't get viewers. They get nobody interested in it, so they try to brainwash everybody to come watch. If you don't watch this amateur garbage, you're not a real fan. <laughs> and then one company after another collapses. Get the fuck out. You know, there's wrestling. WWE, WCW. You know what I mean? AWA, NWA when it was a big fan. That's wrestling. Even TNA, 2 million viewers. That's wrestling. PWG, Ring of Honor, whatever shit shows locally you go watch, that's indie wrestling. Small time. Garbage. Right? I don't have to watch Japanese college football in order to be a real football fan, and I don't watch football, but just as an example, you know what I mean? It's pathetic. Indie fans are pathetic. CM Punk pandering to these people on an embarrassing level is pathetic. Not only is he alienating potential fans to come and watch, but he's just so unlikable. Does he truly believe that he's special and great to the point that people should mark out for his shorts. They don't have a brain if they don't understand his goofy shorts. Like, WWE has a different way of telling story. Everybody told story the same way there. You know, oh, here's shorts he wore 20 years ago. It's a callback. That's not a story. It's not storytelling. Go fuck yourselves. Nobody fucking cares. Nobody gives a fuck. This is embarrassing. Big time embarrassing to see a fucking wrestler that was WWE champ acting like an indie fucking smart online like he's JD from New York. You don't have a brain, guy. You don't know about my shorts. Get the fuck out of here. This is crazy. Wrestling has become intolerable and fucking crazy, man. Until next time, peace.